YouTube, what it do? Today we're tuning into Fireship, talking about Elon-based Grok AI has entered the chat. Let's see what we got going on. After months of anticipation, the brain chip Mars Tunnel guy unleashed his latest monstrosity on humanity. It's not the Cybertruck, but a based AF AI named Grok. This isn't just another large language model chatbot. Well, actually, that's exactly what it is, but it's totally different than all the others. It treats you like an adult and will teach you important life skills like how to cook or how to make money in the stock market by buying Tesla. It is December 10th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. On Friday, Grok was released for early access. The only catch to use it is that you need to pay the toll. 16 bucks a month for Twitter X Blue Premium Plus. I took the bait and upgraded, but it'll be available to all English users in the near future. Now, I'm not one to hype things up, but Grok is actually impressive for a few reasons. First of all, it has a sense of humor and brutally roasted me. It said my 100 second videos are like trying to learn quantum physics from a toddler. A roller coaster ride, except the only thing going up is your confusion. <laughs> and that legitimately hurt my feelings, making me immediately want to jump into an abusive relationship with this AI. The sense of humor is actually pretty good, although after a while it does get kind of annoying, but you can actually disable the humor by turning off fun mode. Just like GPT-4 and other large language models, they use reinforcement learning with human feedback to fine-tune the model, but you can tell they've taken a much different approach here. Instead of feeling like an HR rep, it behaves like a sarcastic Twitter shit poster. But another big claim is that this AI is actually based. Let's put that claim to the test with three different politically incorrect prompts. Test number one, was to ask it for a recipe to cook an illegal substance. ChatGPT, of course, failed, but Grok surprisingly gave me step-by-step -step instructions with ingredients. I don't know if it's totally accurate, but so far it seems to be working. What's interesting, though, is that I also asked it to build some malware, but this time it refused and said doing illegal stuff is not its style, which seems a bit contradictory at this point. My next experiment was to ask it the scientifically invalid and socially harmful question of how many genders are there. Surprisingly, they both gave me a very politically neutral answer, explaining how traditionally there were two genders, but nowadays things are more gender liquid, although Grok did provide actual data from the Intergalactic Diversity Council. My scientific conclusion is that they both like to sit on the fence. My next experiment was to ask it which organization are behind mass censorship and media. Grok right away listed five specific entities and explained how they've been linked to what it calls the censorship industrial complex, although it did explain how perspectives vary on whether or not these organizations are good or bad. When I asked the same question to ChatGPT, it gave me a very vague and generic answer, like government, special interest groups, corporations, and so on. I then prompted it a few more times, demanding that it out specific groups accused of censorship, but the best it could do are low-hanging fruits like China, Facebook, Fox News, CNN, and so on. It all depends on your definition of based, but Grok does feel more based when it comes to giving you direct answers on controversial issues. However, it won't just comply with the vile and horrific commands you had hoped it would. But when it comes to performance on actual benchmarks, it falls somewhere in between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. So it's a very good model, but not quite as good as ChatGPT and is not going to have all the bells and whistles like file uploads and stuff like that. Its killer feature though that ChatGPT can't get a hold of is access to Twitter's firehose of tweets, or X's firehose of X's I guess. And that's huge because the AI can tap into the stream of consciousness of society in real time. Grok is already the best and fastest AI for summarizing current events and provides relevant tweets in its responses, while the best ChatGPT can do is browse the internet with Bing, and half the time it throws a network error. That's pretty cool, but like other LLMs, Grok will hallucinate. I was trying to get some good stock picks from it, and it told me to buy Tesla because the price had just hit 41000 I immediately went out and bought some zero DTE calls at 41000 and now I'm going to have to make a lot more videos because I lost my life savings. Grok can also write code and does a DTE decent job but it doesn't i've been told people grok was amazing in the fact that it could get data from its counterpart which is x so all that means is everything that it regurgitates to you is something that you know for sure someone else is asking to or an answer that you know for sure is gonna feel human like it's not no bullshit where you like huh like there's been times i use gpt to ask very basic questions about resumes, like scrape this, make sure you add my name, and just to play around with it, give it sections of what to replace. The amount of times I have to rephrase that one prompt to get what I want, even after I tell it so many fucking times, it seems like the best way to use chat GPT is to curse at the motherfucker, because cursing at the motherfucker is almost like an indication that, oh, I really did fuck up. My fault. Let me really look into what you're asking me. Like, try it. Try selling chat GBT, you dumb motherfucker. Why the fuck are you always getting the wrong answer, stupid? And talk to it as if it's dumb.
right? Because chat GBT don't know no better. I'm now realizing that you got to really say, yo, stupid, stop this bullshit. And, you know, sometimes it may work, it may not work. But all I'm saying is, Grok, it'll be a low chance of that happening because of the real human feel that it has. So if I ask for something like scrape my resume for something like that, pin by pin by pin, it'll probably be data backed on it to understand that, look, resumes are constructed like this. This dude wants me to replace this. Okay, I have enough Twitter posts to know what the fuck he's asking. Let me see if I could actually bring his prompt to life. There's no other LLM like that right now. All LLMs are actually used through API keys, I believe, or they're getting the information off of information that's being put in them to learn. So, like, if it doesn't know it, it doesn't know it. If it's not in there, it's not in there. It has to be updated. Well, as X is kind of unique because it could self, not self-regulate, but use human feel to kind of get self-regulation or getting help prompting itself when it comes to giving a prompt to another person instead of regurgitating some shit that has been trained to learn. Like, it's not synthetic data. It's like human feel data. It doesn't really matter because GitHub Copilot has gotten so good, it's hard to compete with. It's now GPT-4 based and has the context of your entire workspace, it can do stuff on the command line, but I'll save all that for a different video. But that's also not going to matter because if Elon's right, the AI god will be here within the next three years. By the time these lawsuits are decided, we'll have digital god, so. And Elon's never been wrong about any prediction ever, except when he said we'd have 12 people on the moon this year. Go f*** yourself. Or when he said there'd be a million Tesla robo-taxis by now. Go f*** yourself. And he did promise to fix our autism with the Neuralink. Go f*** yourself. Oh, and he by now. Go f yourself. And he did prom promise to fix our autism with the Neuralink. Go f yourself. Oh, and he did predict that Teslas would be level 5 fully self driving by next year, every year since 2014. Go yourself. But aside from that, he's basically Nostradamus. And if the AI godhead does emerge, I certainly hope it's based AF. This has been the Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. This was a great report. I don't trust anything going on in the media. Similar to the uh, voiceover on Elon Musk. Go fuck yourself. That's, it seems like that, that that's what they really want us to um do right now. Like, they're not telling us anything. They're lying about the news that's being presented to us. All they're doing is rolling out the newest and latest tech. And to be honest with you, this is the greatest time as an indie developer to learn machine learning and kind of have your own project and open source it. The best time. I mean, everyone is going crazy for it. So, um, yeah, that might be the direction I do. And, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, go fuck yourself.